we as parents, as mothers and fathers and grandfathers ourselves, are successful to the extent that we can connect our children to our eternal mother, father, and grandfather, that is Krishna. And in order to do that, we need to make an effort. Sometimes we think that our children will get Krishna consciousness automatically, by osmosis. Right? If I do the other bhakti at home, and I bring them to Sunday once a week, somehow they'll magically become religious and pious and good devotees. But does anything happen by magic? We all know that we have to put in hard work for whatever we do. Shri Shri Gonitai. Means if you just, if the kids just hang out uh, and you know go to school every once a week for a few, one hour, two hours, will they become smart and intelligent? We put an effort into their education, right? We put an effort into them becoming socially capable. We put an effort into every aspect. We make sure they come home and they do their homework and how did you do in the exam? And show me your report card. And oh my God, you got an A minus, that's horrible. How could you do that? We set high standards for them, right? But when it comes to our Krishna consciousness, we think, oh, just, it'll happen. It's a good boy, he goes to the temple. And every day he bows down. That's not enough. Not in this environment. We live in a world that is geared against becoming Krishna conscious, becoming spiritual. It's a materialistic world. It's a hedonistic world. And to balance things, if you want to balance the spiritual and the material, you need to do extra of the spiritual. Like you need to emphasize this side. Then it'll be somewhere in the middle. Just like when the pendulum, if it's too far this way, then you swing it this way, and then it lands somewhere in the middle. We need to put in an effort. It's not on autopilot. That just by once a week, it's going to happen. We need to ask ourselves, how can I help our children, train our children on a day-to-day -day level, and make this a priority along with their material priority? That we keep track. How are they progressing? What are they doing for Krishna? How is their relationship with Krishna growing? What have they learned about our scriptures, like Gita and Bhagavata? What service have they done in the temple recently? How are they relating to other devotees? What is their association like? What are their friends like? All of these questions we need to make a priority. Then only we can expect that our children will grow up with a character that gives them both the best of the spiritual and the material. Then we know that they will not be losers. We can be confident that we have done our responsibility. When we cannot be parents anymore for them, they will have their eternal parents. Pitahamasya jagata mata bhata pitamaha. We will have connected them, connected them to the father and mother and grandsire of this entire universe. Mm -hmm.